Okay. Let's get this show on the road. This video is basically a homeware haul slash a bit of stationery slash whatever. Things that you use and put in a home basically. I'm going to start with the happiness planner. Now I was going to put this in my book haul but I thought it's not really a book that you'd read. You more use it for yourself and more kind of homey. Not that I have started it because I wanted to haul it for you guys and show you what it is and what it does. A lot of a lot of you may have heard it, there's a lot of YouTubers that I think has it, I think Zoe has one, but she has last year's one, or the one that starts at the beginning of this year, I think. Um, but this is in the mint rose gold um, design, and as soon as it was rose gold and mint, I was just like, yeah, that is the one I want. I wanted the blue one, but when this was rose gold, I was like, no, I'm going to wait. It comes in this cute little box, you get bubble wraps, let's move that out of the way, and here you will see some sheets of paper. First one we have is change a habit in 30 days. My new year's resolutions. Now since since this planner is a July to next July, I guess we'll start my new year's resolution now. I already had new new year's resolutions at the beginning of the year, but I've finished them, like I've completed them and I thought I wouldn't, but I have done them. I've always wanted to do one of these. It's basically a bucket list and this is definitely gonna be used because I've always wanted to do one though I think my bucket list will be a lot longer than this but this is kind of like the main things that I want in this year my goals I have a lot of goals because I guess everyone has goals do you not have goals I have a lot of goals I always want to be better I try to improve myself I try to improve my personality and the fact that I um, look at other people differently and like I just I like setting goals and I like achieving them and I like just being a good person, a better person and a better me, just being myself. I don't know, I think goals is a good way to improve yourself and be yourself. How gorgeous does this look? It's oh, it's just stunning and I'm struggling to get this out. You get some gold paper clips. Happiness planner. Oh, I got a mark on that already. It is a pretty thick planner. I mean, considering it has like every day, I think, or every week, or so on, it is a is a thick planner. Probably not one that you'd carry around in your everyday bag, but it's a good one to have. I do need to catch up, however. On the front, it does say the happiness planner. Focus on what makes you happy. And it's nice to keep a diary. That I'm not very good at keeping diaries. I'm good at things that kind of help me like ask me to do things rather than trying to think what to put in a day and I think these are going to be a lot more interesting than writing my own diary. I have all these like pages and 10 rules to live by for those who live in a positive life. So you have rules, there's quotes in here so, and then you have like this kind of preparation to do your diary, diary, to do your planner and it's just, it's just so articulate. It's just so good. I mean like for instance July plans, you have like a plan to what you want to do in July, like what your main main goals are, personal goals, work goals, the month I'm excited, this month I'm excited about, so say if I'm going to a concert, I would put a concert in this box, happy things I will do, so things that make me happy that I want to do. And then for every day you have a today I'm excited about, main focus, schedule, exercises, meals and to do's. And it just it just goes on and on every day for a year. And if this ooh, if this is any good, I certainly will repurchase this next year. So now I'm just so happy to have this out. I don't know whether I'll backtrack a bit, I might backtrack a bit on some things, but I will try and get this done every day. Also mint and kind of springy summery. I have a brand new duvet. Now I have bought two duvets since this duvet. I bought a Christmas one, which I'm not sure if I showed you, I don't think I did, I might have Instagrammed it, but I had a Christmas one and I absolutely loved, 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 loved that duvet. And then I bought one from Asda with foxes all over it and I never got time to haul that one either. But this one is the original one I wanted anyway. This duvet is just absolutely gorgeous. Yes, it's from Asda. It's only £10. It's, it's a flipping bargain. It's just oh, it's just stunning. I love grey. I love mint. 
and it also kind of reminds me of my sister. So a mint duvet, grey and mint duvet with a mint and grey planner. Just so pretty. We're gonna backtrack a bit. A bit, I say a bit. Let's say a lot. Okay, so my sister, my sister, my best friend didn't get me much for, for my birthday because she normally gives me money because I never know what I want half the time and I sh yeah. However, a couple of months down the line or a couple of months later, so I'm saying around about May time, we walked into the Disney store and I was like, I don't want anything, I don't want to spend my money on anything, I literally don't want anything. We're just going to go in and have a look. That was a huge big mistake because they brought new mugs out and I have, what, say about four mugs already? I now have an additional mug and this is just too adorable to not have. I was standing there holding this mug for good knows how long, deciding whether I should get it or not. My best friend decided to get it for me. She was, like, she was just like, right, no, I'll just buy it for you. It's gonna be a belated birthday present. You didn't know what you wanted for your birthday, so I can just buy this and that can be your birthday present. But it has stitch on it and I, I don't have a stitch mug. This is just too cute. Stitch there and then he's on that side as well. It's just so adorable and it's just the perfect size. It's like my perfect size mug. That was my best friend telling me that we're going to go Pokemon hunting at 5pm. I'm just so happy to have a flounder mug, a stitch mug, and now a Simba mug, or a flounder mug, Simba mug, and now a stitch mug. Yeah. <laughs> Going along with Pokemon Go recently, I don't know who loves Pokemon Go, but I do. So if you don't, I'm sorry. I'm just going to talk about that for a couple of minutes. Um, but I've been waiting for Pokemon Go ever since the trailer came out last year, and to begin with, I thought it was like a whole fake app that wasn't gonna ever appear, and then it was released in the US. I was so mad, I was gonna shoot someone. I felt like, I was just like, how? I mean, not US, Australia. It was just released in Australia, then it was released in the US. But me and my friend Scarlett were just chatting to each other constantly, and it was never ever released. And then a week on Thursday, I got up that morning, I had, I don't know, I just had this feeling like really burning in with, within me. I know it sounds really weird, but I had a feeling it was gonna re be released that day. Little did I know it was gonna re be released at half nine. Um, and I was text, I was doing my makeup at the time, getting ready to go to work, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to check I, um, Twitter and iTunes app store to see if it's released, and it was. And I was texting Scarlett and we were freaking out. I ran around the house, my brother was downstairs with his earphones in, and I was jumping up and down, going crazy. I'm sorry I'm rambling, but I love Pokemon. So that is the end of that story. I'm not going to go any further into that. However, the app does drain your battery like I don't know what. It eats it so much, you have to get yourself one of these bad boys. I already have a small one which charges my phone for a full charge and a half but I took that out and my battery just ate that as well. I mean my app just ate that as well so I was like no I'm gonna get a new one and I have really been loving this. I tested it out this full week and I've used it for six days and it's charged my phone six times. Um, it has been amazing. It's not black, it's silver. Let me just get it. So it's not black, it's actually silver. They did do a gold one, but it was out of stock, so I was that desperate I needed the silver one. And yeah, it charges your iPad, your iPhone, mobile phone, MP3, MP4 player, or your um, PSP device, or a Nintendo DS. But seriously, it's amazing. It's, the cool, it's called the Pilot 2GS Mobile Power Pack by Powerade and or power add not power aid power add and i have been loving this so if you need a battery portable battery i totally recommend this it charges around about five to six i don't need any more than that and it's not it's a bit weighty but it's slim enough i like how slim it is to pop into your bag i got myself some maxwell earphones i love this brand of earphones they I just, I don't know, like everyone loves the, the AirPods that you get with your iPhones, but I, 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 they just don't go on my ears and they hurt and I don't know. 
that's just me but I love these earphones I have had around about five pairs two of which have died after about five years so depending on whether that's good or bad I don't know I take these earphone earphones with me everywhere I go because I listen to music non-stop I decided to go with the chocolate bronze this time I have had pink purple silver and gold in the past but I thought I really want a kind of warm I wanted something warm and different and they didn't have any gold anyway or any silver so I thought no I'm gonna go with the bronze they look gorgeous and can't wait to use them I've had some packages that I've opened this is from Disney I have never actually bought anything off the Disney website and because there's never been anything that I wanted to buy but now there has been the first thing are these cuties I haven't seen many people I've only got one why am I saying cuties I haven't seen many people um like buy these or Instagram these but as soon as I saw this I was just kind of like I need it sorry but it's my favorite character and I just had to buy it but it is this small little decorative plate and I think I'm my friend in fact was just like why do you need it what are you going to use it for well one I can just sit it as a little decoration on top of my you know over here on top of my little stand next to my stitch which is not in shop or I can just use it as a little plate what it actually is and put like I don't know like jewelry or even my hair slides or even my bobbles just sitting on top and it, I just don't know, it just looks really cute. And to be fair, it's £2.95. And if I, I believe they have 25% off at the moment, which brings that down a bit, just a little bit. But absolutely love it. Next, I have this beauty. I love this so much, I'm not going to lie. And it's wrapped in this like white tissue paper. Okay, so I have myself this Mickey Mouse like plate bowl it's more of a bowl um which is just it's just so cute i mean one you can use that and have like ice cream in it if you want to but i'm not going to be using it for that <laughs> i'm going to be using this again just to put like my bits and bobs in um just to clear up my desk a little because i'm always leaving things around and i just i don't know about anyone else but i like things that are open that don't have lids so i can just pick it up and rather than having to open it and you know that all, all that jazz but it's in the shape of Mickey Mouse and this is only £4 which I thought was a bargain and my f um, I, my friend who works at the Disney shop gave me a discount for the postage, free postage so £4 free postage, bargain. Next I have some fairy lights, I saw these in Primark, yay where I work and I really like them. Yeah you have a kind of um, a navy dark blue, a muted blue it's more of a muted blue baby blue and then a white and i think this with my duvet cover and like set on my bed that's where i'm planning to put them it's just gonna look really pretty and these were four pounds so again bargain gotta love primark when i went to stoke um as you guys may know when i go to stoke i love to go to this little shop called oh my gosh it has slipped my mind Charms and Chains, <laughs> there we go, got there in the end, Whew. and I absolutely love their little bits of jewellery. Charms and Chains is the little shop that is set up in Stoke, they do have an online store now so I will link the link, I will link the link below. I have pre previously bought some Disney ones and some Harry Potter ones but now I saw this one, it is just so so cute, I think I wore this in one of my previous videos um, but I didn't mention it. It's a little elephant, it's silver, it's a cute little ring and you just wear it like that. And I think this was around about two pounds, two or three. Um, but yeah, and they kind of changed their little bag packaging but they put it in this little pouch now which is a lot safer I think because they used to put them in like the brown paper bags um, and then they'd rip. Um, however, I do think they should put like a little charms and chains um, label on the bag because otherwise no one's going to know that's from Charms, from Charms and Chains. Just a suggestion. Next, I have some packages to open. Yay. 
Um, this is a huge Disney box, but I believe there's only one thing in here and it's not this big, so don't be fooled by this package. But as you can see, it's quite light, but it's kind of weighty at this end of it. Um, and I just love the fact it comes in this, like, has like Marvel Disney tape. I think that is just awesome. Inside this package, if I okay, no, there's two things in here, but one's a little small anyway. So, my sister and me absolutely love Star Wars, as you know, what well, our whole family does. We grew up on it, um, and they brought out the zoom zooms of whoo, dropped it of Star of the Star Wars Force Awakens, and I bought my sister Ray from the shop and they didn't have BB-8 but the lady said that they still have BB-8 online so I purchased BB-8 online and isn't he just adorable? He's just so cute! I don't think I've mentioned this but I'm making a big huge welcome home package for my sister when she returns next year in November I know it's a long way but I'm buying all the things that she would have bought for herself when she was here I know my sister that well, I know she would have bought this. So considering it's only three pounds, it's a bargain, really. Then we have a lot of my receipt and details. And then we have this smaller, slightly heavier box inside the big box. Is that past the parcel? I don't know how I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna need my trusty clippers. Trusty clippers, you do the job. I don't know which way to open this either, so I'm just gonna go for it. No, I stabbed the box, but okay. We're in. Inside, we have the package wrapped in weirdness, weird other packaging stuffing stuff. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. And you can probably already guess kind of what this is if you're very clever at guessing things. The Disney store released, or Disney Par Disneyland Paris, because the, Dis the Mickey Mouse Disney plate, that's also from Disneyland Paris on the website. This, I believe, is also. So this is, oh my gosh, this is so nice. This is stunning. This is, this looks so much, this looks so pretty in real life. Okay. I kind of blanked. Oh, I'm just amazed at how pretty this looks. So this is from a collection, um, Mini Parisine, I think the collection was called. I'm just guessing that's how you pronounce it. But I bought the plate. I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna go on display. I need like one of those, you know, plate stands. It's just stunning. Oh, it's so pretty and it's just, so cute! My best friend would absolutely love this. I know it's like, I know she doesn't really like pink that much, but it's like a nice pink with the rose gold. And I just love the detail that's gone into this. Just that little pink blush on her cheeks. It's just so cute. I love this. You know what? It's going to go perfectly on there when I get a stand for it, but that is stunning. This was a bit more pricey than the um, bowl, the Mickey Mouse bowl, but this is actually part of a collection, kind of expensive collection. I think like the kettle and the mugs were all like £20, but this was the only thing I really wanted and it was the cheapest, I believe. Um, this was £10. So I have two packages, huge packages, from next. They've both got one thing in it one thing in each bag so it's not going to be a huge package it's just huge as in the size of it <laughs> i absolutely love next homeware stuff like cushions and duvets Urgh! oh my goodness can't get in it Urgh! okay we're in yay oh! i got my very own k cushion it's friggin huge so i have a cushion the letter K on it. It's just so me. So scratchy. I love it. It's going on my bed and it's going to be that perfect cushion that I just cuddle up to or even just read a book with it. You know, just to lean on. Because my pillows, they always slide down my back and I just end up pulling them up all the time. So, you can probably guess what this one is. Oh, this, is, this one was a lot easier. 
a lot, lot easier. The seat. Ooh. Packaging. This one has the letter C on it, and this is going on my sister's bed. So again, this is another present for my sister when she gets back. She's going to have a lot of things. You don't know how much stuff I've bought for her already. It's insane, and it's only been, what, three months? I went into Yankee Candle and got this. It's Turquoise Sky, and I'm not gonna lie, but this literally smells like my best friend. Like, I think my best friend has like a perfume maybe similar to this. It just reminds me of her, I don't know why. Maybe because she likes it, but I'm pretty sure there's, the scent is in her house somewhere, or it's on her. So Kate Ellis, you smell like this candle, but this smells like you. <laughs> I don't know, that probably sounds really weird. First two candles. I have a lot, a lot, I mean a lot, of red votive candles, and there would be no surprise if I didn't get any. So here I have is the cherry vanilla candle, which smells like black cherry, but with a vanilla scent to it, so it's not so thick on the cherry side. And then I have raspberry sundae, which oh, smells so nice. Katie and me recently have absolutely loving, have absolutely been loving the scent raspberry, and it's it's up there with my strawberry now. Like strawberry and raspberry are like my favourite fruits. It's just oh, we could eat a bowlful right now. The next two we have is yellow and pink, and this one is Bermuda Beach. I think I'm going to light this when I come back off my holiday to Italy, so I can just smell the beach, kind of like smell. That, not that Italy has a Bermuda beach, but it smells so fresh. Here we have is the vanilla frosting. The only reason why I bought this is because it smells a little bit like butter. <laughs> Doesn't anymore. It smells a little bit like butter beer, and you can tell it's vanilla frosting, but oh, it just smells a little bit like butter beer to me. The next two I have is. Peach smoothie. I absolutely love peaches as well. That's another favourite fruit of mine. And it just smells milky and peachy and just mm, summery. It just smells like I want to eat it. And then we have Margarita Party, which is, is very sour and lemony, but uh, it's kind of like that scent when you're really thirsty and you need a drink. You should probably get a drink when you like this because that's probably going to be me. Lighting it, smelling it, and then be like, alright, I really need a drink now. As I mentioned, I need a new diffuser. I mentioned it in one of my videos, I think. I got another one! And my best friend has absolutely been loving this. Um, she came into my room and she said, what is that scent? And I was like, it's this. It's this bad boy right here. There's a few people that said they don't can't smell it or it doesn't smell of anything, but to me, and my best friend, it smells gorgeous. I can, my mum has said she absolutely loves this smell. She's always, like, wandered, like she wandered in here and she was like, what is that scent when I first put it on? And she just loved it. So, guys, it's working. Next I have is a high-end candle and a low-end, really cheap low-end candle which look very similar because they're in kind of the same like tin decorative tin first I'm going to start off with the low-end so um, this one is from card factory not a place you would normally buy candles but I love the scent and I was like I'm gonna try it I am going to try it this one is called finishing touches it's in a baby blue this was this is the scent in vanilla it's called vanilla scented candle you know that's pretty much what you need to call it to tell people that it's a candle and it comes with a lid oh, and it just smells gorgeous this also smells like butter beer it's 1.99 so an absolute bargain so if you love vanilla and you love butter beer i totally recommend this however Hold on, hold your horses. If you want something that pretty much is the scent of butterbeer, this is the whole truth because my, my friend has smelt it, my sister has smelt it, and she agrees with me. This is by the this is by the Q Royal Botanic Gardens. It's a pure soya wax candle, natural botanical fragrance. 100% pure wax candle. These burn for 40 hours and you can already smell it before you even open the lid. It's so nice. But 
it has, it's vanilla-y, but it has that fizzy butterscotch scent to it, which is why I love it so much and why I think it smells like butterbeer. It is insane. If you want a butterbeer scented room, go for this candle. No. <sighs> I, I love it. You can get these in water stones. You can't get them in, in every water stones, but the one we have in Leicester, they sell loads of them. It's perfect for sitting, or like sitting so cosy or warmy, and just it's nice to sit down to and read a book with. That's basically one. I said it's a bit high end. It's ten pounds for this forty hour candle, which to me isn't that bad, especially when it smells like butterbeer. Along with that cheap $1.99 candle, the vanilla one, I got myself the diffuser as well. This was $2.99 from Card Factory and I got it in the blue and it comes with the blue little ribbon on the glass bottle with little hearts all over it and this one actually has a different name. Um, I'm not entirely sure if this is vanilla still. Um, but yeah, I don't really know if this is vanilla or not, but we shall start. We shall find out. It's a mystery. I think I found my favourite brand of candles slash, slash diffusers ever, or at least my favourite scent. I seriously mean this. I think this beats my sparkling cinnamon by Yankee Candle and Black, Black Cherry. It is insane. So I went to a small little town in Wales, but there was this cute little shop and the shop was Monkly Furniture, brand of candles slash diffusers. Oh, I'm holding that upside down. Are oh, the Bee Garden, yeah, the Bee Fair, Bee Garden um, range. I haven't heard anything about this range. However, I now have <laughs> and I, I researched it and they're, they're quite pricey. They are really quite pricey. So the scent of these is insane. I cannot tell you how much I was so close not to buying these because they were so expensive but I thought no, I'm only going to be here once and you have to spend a load of shipping to get them to your house so I bought them. This is the rhubarb and raspberry scented Be Fair candle and I can't de deny how oh, so good of a scent this is. Um, and the really great thing about this is that 3% of our profits, of their profits, go to bee conservations. And I think that is really good. So the candle itself is £16.50. As I said, a lot for this size of a candle, but the scent is insane. I am going to use these wisely. And I could not get the candle without getting the diffuser. This is the very last diffuser they had in the store, so I thought, you know what, it's there, so it's got to be for me. And this is £14.50, you get 50 millilitres, and most of the time the diffusers last much longer than candles do. It depends how you use them, it depends how long you use them for. But I cannot emphasise how much this brand is like the, they had so many other scents that I really loved but the raspberry and rhubarb really got to me I really had to have it and I, I'm totally trying to sell this to you as much as I can because these are so so nice thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel and comment below I love you guys so much as always have a great day love you guys bye So I got myself some new little earrings. I love this brand of it earrings. So I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry. My, my Kate is te texting me. Katie's texting me. I mean, I'm sorry. It's my favorite character. I'm sorry. It's my favorite character, and it's just. Oh my gosh! I can't get it open. Gonna be here for days. I don't. Does it really say? My phone needs to be quiet. Otherwise, I'm gonna turn it off. Where is this straw going? What are you doing? It's got a bind of its own. Okay. Every day, or texting each other every day. Katie, shh. Have you been loving this heat? Any of you that live in the UK? I have absolutely been loving it, but I've been at work most of the time. <clears throat> and there is a half naked guy outside. See the thing is with these candles is that you could smell them and these were right at the bottom of the bag. 
I had a bag, I had basically, I had all my candles and diffusers in this next bag and you could smell these which were right in the bottom of the bag, in the plastic bag when I took the first candle out. That's how insane the scent is. Not going to deny it. I will see you next video. Love you. Love you. Love you. I'm just waiting for this video to die.